Afara. He's the director of the Masawa Center, which is an advocacy group for Arab citizens in Israel and the Palestinian territories. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Um, please can you tell us what you can do now, what needs to be done to make sure that Arab-Israeli interests are um, adequately represented in Israeli democracy? First, uh, the first step is to go to the Supreme Court again. It's not the first time that the Central uh, Election Committee is banning Arab political parties. Uh, the decision is to ban two out of three political parties that represent the Arab community. The step that will be taken now by both political parties that have been banned is to go again to the Supreme Court and to ask the protection of the Supreme Court. Unfortunately, it's not the first time. Since 2003 and in the 2006, it, uh, the same scenario took place and in, again and again the Supreme Court allowed these two political parties to participate in the election. Uh, unfortunately, even the Labour Party, you know, some kind of central left party in Israel, joined the extreme right-wing uh, fascist groups in this demand to ban the Arab political parties from participating in election. So the next step actually is to go to the Supreme Court and to force the Central Election Committee to allow these two political parties to join and to take part in this election. But how do you respond to the accusations, of the expectations of the right-wing parties who instigated this move that uh, the Arab-Israeli parties are, are supporting terrorism by not supporting the Israeli military action in Gaza? Let me say that we are not supporting any military action since 48. Nothing new here. We are Palestinians, we are Arabs, and we are citizens of the State of Israel. And this unique status, and I think the international community and the Israelis should listen to our voice. We were against the Lebanon war. Even 46% of the civilian victims that have been killed in the last Lebanon war were Palestinian citizens in the north that were living in the north. We stayed against, our position was against the Lebanon war. The same thing now. We know the suffering in Gaza better than any Israeli. And we are Palestinians and this voice is complicated one in this reality because everybody wants to see black and white here. We are not black and white. We are in unique status. And uh, I don't think that the Arab political parties are supporting any kind of terror. Actually, there was uh, in 2003 and in 2006 these accusations were uh, 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 presented in the court, in the Supreme Court, and there was no proof that these accu accusations were right. So uh, uh, the situation today that there is false accusations against the Arab political parties, Arab political leaders have been investigated in the last eight years over 26 times by police. So I don't know which immunity these political parties and these political leaders have in Israel in this limited democracy, but still there uh, was no case of any uh, uh, political leader that have been elected to the Knesset that have been uh, uh, convicted in the court. So mm -hmm. I think it's about time to say that the, we have different agenda. Yes, we think that peace with our uh, people and peace in the region is the solution for the tragedies. This is our position since 48. Nothing right. new. And in every confrontation that is taking place, we are accused that we are fifth column and etc. We have to leave it there. Thank you very much, Jafar Farah, live from Haifa. He's with the Masawa Center.